So without the Griffins, Van Andel Arena will be a quiet place over the next few weeks, but some events are still scheduled there. And News 8's Joe Lafergie is live outside the arena with more on that part of the story. Joe? Yeah, Sue, look over my shoulder and you see some of the crowds have gathered here tonight for the Laura Daigle concert. That is set for tonight at Van Andel Arena. That show will go on, but others won't. If you want to get a taste of the success that Van Andel Arena has brought to downtown Grand Rapids, just go around the corner to Sparks Barbecue. It's been really good. Uh, all the events that go on down here at Van Andel Arena have been, been really good for us. They opened two months ago, but the loss of hockey is bound to hurt. We're kind of uh, at the whims of forces outside of things we can control. He'll take the shot and score! Griffin's games aren't the only events canceled by coronavirus. The Michael Buble concert set for March 31st has been postponed. But why not tonight's concert? We took that question to a company that runs Van Andel Arena. Their answer, cancellations are up to event promoters. They sign contracts with Van Andel to host events, and a decision by Van Andel Arena to shut down would be a breach of contract. So barring any last minute decisions by Laura Daigle, her show will go on. Good news for Sparks Barbecue and other restaurants along Ionia because after tonight, they're going to lose a large chunk of business. What the long-term effect of it is, you know, I don't know. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't really know. We're gonna find out though. Now we reach out to the promoter of that concert to find out if they considered canceling it or if they considered refunding ticket prices to those fans who didn't feel comfortable going because of the coronavirus fear. We did not hear back from them. Live in Grand Rapids, Joe Lafergie, News 8.